Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to another board game review, where today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be reviewing Shadow War Armageddon, a miniatures war game by Games Workshop. Dun dun dun! No, stop. Don't worry. Before we start, quick caveat. War games are completely different to board games because they require an awful lot of output from people who want to play them. You have to buy the miniatures and then glue them together and then probably paint them and then some terrain. And like a rule book is like like a, like a book, like like there's a lot of there's, there's words, there's a lot of words. You got to do reading and you got to it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And on the whole, if you're quite a casual gamer and you just like something, pick up play pretty easy. I wouldn't advise a war game. I wouldn't advise painting figures and building stuff because it takes a lot of effort and you've got to kind of enjoy that side of the hobby to some degree or really love the lore, really look at that and go, oh, he's a sexy, oh, he's a sexy. You've got to really, really want it to kind of get involved. I've kind of wanted to talk about Shadow War though because it's slightly different because what you really need is either a nice local community that plays it. So you find a war game store near you that plays games and like... 10 figures, maybe. Maybe a few more if you want different stuff, but ultimately, like, you could play this one with a £25 rule book that you can borrow off a mate or just, you know, go to a store and find, and like 10 figures. So it's a little less pressure and output. But what would be the point in talking about Shadow Arm again and the unique and excitingness about the Warbands if I couldn't introduce you to a few of the Warbands? I think the book has options for about 12, I think maybe 15 different types of Warbands, all with different stats and stuff, different models representing them. Uh, here's just one of mine. We have the Inquisitor Warband. They're kind of special T really, is they have a lot of flexibility. They can equip a lot of their basic troops with a lot of good stuff. Some of the negatives to them, though, is they still are basic troops. Their armor saves aren't great. They're not particularly tough. And equally, they don't really have an abundance of heavy weaponry, so you can't lay down big, heavy gunfire. But Inquisitors, let me introduce you to Inquisitor Doctor Who and his squad of of navvies. Who, who knows what kind of people they are. They've got some storm boltery type heavy weapon people in there, particularly like this lady character, if the camera picks it up. Look at her, look at her with her storm bottle conversion. I do, I do like her, she's so pretty. Now, why is it special? Why is Shadow War special? Well, back in the 1900s and back in the 90s, there was a game called Necromunda, which is actually coming out soon as well. Again, rebooted. But it, the, the game was basically a skirmish game between two gangs and they'd fight and you'd get injuries and then some of your people would die or get severely hurt and you'd find equipment and level up. It was like an amazing kind of role play experience on top of an amazing war game. And it was a lot of fun. Now I'm not going to go through the rules and the heavyweightiness of it all, but Necromunda mattered. It mattered in the 90s and it has been severely missed. A lot! Luckily Games Workshop when I we like money, let's make some money, actually. So they kind of really shadow war arm again, and it did shockingly well, and they were shocked at how well it did. And that has potentially influenced them, or they were kind of planning it anyway, uh, led them into bringing back Necromunda. Now, Shadow Wars is the one out now, and that's what I'm going to talk about, because what it lets you do is it lets you take existing miniatures from the Games Workshop range and battle with them. So you might have a Space Marine army, and you can go, ah, play Shadow War, because I've got some scouts. Or you might not have a clue what Games Workshop is, but you might go, oh, those Space Marines look nice, I'll buy some scouts to have a game with, because that's like 10, 20, 10 men, maybe, who cares? Let's give it a go. Here is another one of my particular warbands. This is my Dark Elder warband. Uh, their particular specialty is they absolutely wreck facing combat and are super quick, but not to a point where they're completely cheesy and unbeatable. Uh, equally, they have virtually no ranged weapons to talk of. I think they actually don't have any unless it's a specialist you get. Particular specialists include things like scourges who flap around. Come on, camera. There are scourges who flap around a lot and do flying things. Uh, homunculi, which give them drugs and they use combat drugs to make them better. Uh, my squad is led by this particularly attractive fellow. His name is Merlin. I've got things like Mad Madam Mim. She is mad and mad at me. These are old classic games workshop witches, the original ones that came out. 
the basic premise of the game, uh, the basic premise of the world is the whole world's screwed over and these green guys are killing everyone, they're called orcs, and you're like a special kill team that goes in to try and find Promethean caches, which is like fuel, I guess, and the first one to 15 caches after how many other games is the winner. Campaign's a little bit lightweight, probably actually a bit poor, but don't worry about that because there's tons of resources online that makes it better. If you really want to get into this sort of thing, it's a game you can really get into. Uh, again though, I wouldn't advise buying £200 worth of terrain, I wouldn't advise buying 10 forces, I'd advise buying a squad of 5 men or a squad of 10 men, creating your first little army, because the way you do it is you get a thousand points to spend, and you can just buy like a man, and the man costs 60 points, and it's like, oh I've got my man, let's, let's give him, a, let's give him a, a, a bolt pistol for 25 points, and let's give him some armour for another 25, and he's now 100 points, and that's that's a tenth of your starting cost, and it's just one cruddy little man. Or get yourself your, your commander, your commander, and be like, oh, I've got my commander, it's got a good weapon and stuff, and it's 250 points. And if you really hate figures, get like Grey Knights, and you can get like five in your army, and that's it, have fun. Um, just a little aside, I cannot stress how important it is not to buy Games Workshop terrain, because it is stupid expensive. There are, like, cardboard terrain you can get, it's... You can find it online, you can even print out your own stuff and glue it together, like, it's it's around, there's an abundance of it, it's it's fine to use, like, genuinely absolutely fine to use. Equally, if you want to go a bit fancier, there's a lot of sites that are making MDF terrain nowadays, and MDF terrain, honestly, it's a freaking marvel. I love it. I, I, I love it. I, I love... Oh god, I, I love it. It's gorgeous stuff. It's just... And it's cheap, like this this MDF tower block that opens up. It's by TT Combat, and it was like fourteen quid, fourteen pounds. Are you are you kidding me? Um, it's a good game. It's a fun game. It's an interesting game, and it it reboots Necromunda, but it lets you introduce new players or existing players into that world, into that lore. So if you've got a local game store, game store that's quite popular and doing quite well, you could go down, meet some people, have a chat, and play this game. Keep your sheets. And these people, they, these characters you play with, they get experience, they get names, they get upgraded skills, they get better weapons, they get injuries, and they die. And it's heartbreaking and exciting and fun, and every time one of your characters goes down in, in the skirmish game, they might be gone. And that's amazing. And all their equipment you bought for them might be gone. So do I spend? A ridiculous amount of money on a big gun for the orc fella and then he might be dead now there's a lot of fun to that and if you've got a few mates and you like the sound of it and you maybe want to all don't buy the star set because it was limited edition and it's ridiculous and games workshop terrain is stupid expensive so don't buy games workshop terrain but if you a couple of mates go this sounds like fun let's find some proxy models use lego figures for christ's sake if you want to let's get some proxy models and let's try this game out I guarantee you, you won't be disappointed. Your characters can fall off catwalks and run and slip on oil and their guns can run out of ammunition and they can throw a grenade and it might bounce back and hit them and blow them up. Like, the game is fun. It's just fun, it's clever, it's thought out, it's exciting. And the last uh, war band I'm going to show you is my Auckland Raiders. There's so gosh darn many of them. Uh, basically, they're particularly well known for just Coming, you can get like 20 of them in your warband, whereas other warbands have a limit of 10, sometimes 5, sometimes 15. So these guys have numerical superiority. The other thing they're very good at is they're super tough. They're not particularly skilled at anything, but they're damn hard as nails, and it's, it takes a lot to knock them over. They're also pretty good in combat, and they can, like, chop things up with weapons and choppers and stuff. The leader, which is called a knob, short for noble, you... Get your mind out of the gutter. Uh, also has like a couple of wounds, he's pretty strong and tough, and he comes with decent weaponry and combat, like shooty stuff, if you want to pay the points for them. If you want to have a dirt cheap mob of like youths, which are like the recruit style ones, you can buy a load of those. So I would highly recommend Shadow War Armageddon. If you're into miniatures games, if you know miniatures games, or if you would like to explore miniatures games, and it's a good groundwork, because I know they're releasing Necromunda, but it's going to follow the 8th edition rules, so it's not actually going to be Necromunda. This is modern Necromunda, and equally, you've got Necromunda. 
the old stuff. It's all online. There's things like Dagobah Dave, there's Inquisimunda. I'll leave some links to things. So you can customise the hell out of this game and you can make it whatever you want. So Shadow War Armageddon. Give it a try. Thank you very much. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!